All right, guys, welcome to Scripting Every Day Until I'm Good at Scripting, Day 5. Um, this was supposed to be yesterday, but, you know, I ran out of time, if you if you saw the post. Um, every Here's what I'm going to do. So every five days, um, it's going to be Improvement Day. And on Improvement Day, you go back and you improve the previous scripts that you made, or that I made. I don't even know what I'm saying to you. But, um, yeah, so on Day 5, you go back and improve stuff. Um, so the improvements I made... Uh, first of all, the color changing part. Huh. It's it's not buggy anymore, huh? So I can't go like this and just have it be yellow in the red zone. I'm trying my hardest right now. I'm trying to trick it. But I can't. And you know why? Because I learned magnitude, guys. <laughs> I learned magnitude, yeah. So yeah, uh, the new script in the new script it uses magnitude. Okay, this is the script now. Really, really small compared to the old one, which I will get out. So yeah, this is this was the original script. Uh, almost a hundred lines of code, and then with magnitude, this is the script. Twenty five lines. So we basically we basically forced what we originally had. So that's a big improvement. Um, so yeah, so pretty much what it does is I just set it to true just so it's like it's always running But like I don't want it to crash so like I gave it a little weight here, right? If the distance is less than 50 Then the brick color becomes green and then if the distance is less than 25 then The brick color becomes gold if the distance is less than 12 then the brick color becomes red and if the distance is greater than 50 then the the Color is basically the default color, which is medium stone gray. So you might be wondering why I didn't have it just like as else. But why I didn't have it just as like else if um, distance 25, blah, 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 right? Why didn't I use else if? Well, when I used else if, it was just changing the color to black. Um, I have no clue why. Once I used if it, like an if statement for each one, it fixed it. But yeah, so 25 lines of code. So that's the first improvement. The second improvement is the katana. Behold the new and improved katana. Um, just as a just as a disclaimer, um, I don't know how to make the sword animated. Even though I animated it in Moon on that dummy over there, um, the sword isn't just the just the sword just isn't doing it. Uh, but here we go. So now it plays a little equipping animation. Um, kind of looks a bit rough. I don't. I don't know why. Oh yeah, and uh, on deactivate, it's just not working. I have no clue. I'll just play it again. So on deactivate, it's meant to put it away, right? It's meant to stop playing this idle animation. And I had that in the code. Uh, I'll show you here. Tool dot unequipped connect function, and then idle animation track stop. So like. Why isn't it stopping when I put away the sword? Uh, so yeah. Improvement is when I equip. It plays the equip. And then it just plays this little idle where your arms like move up and down a little. And yeah. But once again, the sword isn't... The sword is meant to be like pointed straight ahead. It's not supposed to be like on an, on an angle like this. But uh, the animations aren't following for the sword. Like, even though I had keyframes for it in the original animation, so I don't know. Oh yeah, this this still works. I plan on adding, like, a slash to that. Like, a slash animation. But, uh, that's for another time. So yeah. Next is the dice rule. And now, I did want to improve this. I don't want to say I gave up, but I, I, I really did. I gave up. Um, basically, first of all, I read that one comment. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. Um, I tried to, I tried to use destroy, but because it sets the parent of the dice to null, uh, whenever I clone it, it's not making a new clone for, for some reason. So it, it thinks it's the same clone and then I can't reparent it because it's, it's, it's set to null. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. So, uh, next I saw that other comment that was like, oh, make it print whatever face it, it like lands on or whatever like face you get. So, so it like shows, right? But, um, I tried to add a, a hit detection for the base plate, right? So here it is, right? Here's the dice. And while you may not be able to see it at first, um, there are these transparent 
parts meant to be detect if like touched, right? Um, so if it lands on one, it prints six, right? Because we're te we're detecting using the base plate, so it has to print the opposite number, which which would be the one that's facing up, right? If it lands on four, it prints two, right? Because that's the opposite face. If it prints two, then it, then it if it lands on two, then it prints four. If it, it lands on three, then it prints five, so on and so forth, right? Um, first of all, it's not printing. It's just it's not detecting when this face touches the base plate or when any of the face touches the base plate. And I'm not sure why. Like if I, I did a little test script, which I'll, I'll put on screen, um, where I where I just set a hit detection for the base plate, right? The, the exact same as the one I'm using in the dice roll code. And when I walk onto the onto the base plate, it's printing my parts, like the parts of my my body that are touching the base plate, right? So I don't know. I really don't understand why it's not printing the dice when I when I roll it. All right, editor's note here, guys. I actually got it to print, but it's all just printing at once when it shouldn't be because it's all just colliding with the base plate immediately. It spawns in the air. And then it only prints once, too. So, yeah. Um, quick editor's note, I fixed that part, but there's now another problem. So, yeah. But, yeah, it seems like the parts on the dice are making the dice tweak out. Um, whenever I click this button, it freaking flips out. Like, what? Like, pfft. Why is it doing this? I don't know how to how else to detect what face is touching the base plate or what face is facing upwards. So for now, yes, I gave up. Uh because when I when I spawn it into roll it, it tweaks it tweaks the fuck out. Um I'm assuming that might be because of the welds. But you know, if it wasn't welded it would just fall up it would just fall off of the dice, so I, I really don't know how to fix it. Um yeah. So yeah, as I promised, I will be doing a double upload today. Uh, so day expect day six to come. I don't know later, later in the day. Uh, it I it will include the katana M1 animations. I, I will implement that. It it shouldn't be too hard. But yeah, see you in the next one.